watching Movie Guide. I'm Abby Bear, and I'm here with Dave Johnson. He's a producer and a writer, and you've just done a lot in Hollywood. Is that right? I uh, <laughs> I have. I've been very blessed. Yeah. I've written, produced, or directed about between 400 and 500 million dollars worth of content. Wow, that is a so. lot of stuff, and a lot of Movie Guide award winners. We uh, Ted once told me we've won more awards from Movie Guide than anybody else. Wow. So, uh, and we're hoping for a couple more coming up. We got some new projects coming, yeah. so we're hoping that's that right. Maybe... Your new project, right, is the coffee shop. It's on the up, but it's also coming out in some theaters. Is that right? Uh, up uh, was one of the people who helped us put it together. Yeah. It's um, the movie's called Coffee Shop. It's a I've described it as it's a romantic comedy dramedy kind of thing. I've described it as a cross between you've got mail in a coffee shop meets a Nicholas Sparks novel with a Christian worldview. Yeah. And so, and I think that kind of hits it pretty well. Yeah, and she's kind of doing something more than just having a coffee shop, right? The main character. Yeah, I mean, what we really wanted to do, and, and Teresa Preston and John Irwin, who also co-wrote October Baby, wrote yeah. this script, and it was uh, Teresa's kind of original idea. And what we really wanted to do was create a modern, stylish, relevant, um, attractive in all these ways, strong Christian female character. Yeah. Nowhere in culture do you get that message, yeah. that you can be all those things and be a Christian. Yeah. And so that's really what we try to do with the movie. And the good news is, from the reviews we've been getting, uh, from you guys and others, uh, and the audiences is, is that we've hit that. And women, Christian women just love the movie. Yeah. Now, tell us about your career in Hollywood, because like you're saying, you've done so much. Can you tell like a distinct story about when you just were like, this is totally a miracle, or how did this happen? Something that was just incredible. Uh, I've got a whole list of those, yeah. honestly. I really do. And, and, you know, to sort of think back on them. I mean, I can tell you one that was huge, sort of huge in my life. I remember... Um, I had been offered a job, I won't mention the name or the studio, but it was at the time probably the biggest name in Hollywood, still is one of the biggest, and it was a huge studio. And they came to us and they wanted to do a show called Family Channels, and it was set up at, at NBC, and it was a go deal, and so first of all we got the news, oh we want to do this show, yeah. and I was excited, wow this is great, this is a huge opportunity. Yeah. So we go in and we listen, they want to do family channels and it's called, it's about a 13 year old boy who channels people from his past okay. to help him in his adventures. Okay. And I'm sitting there going, oh man. Uh. <laughs> so I go out in the hall and I tell my partner and I say, I can't do this show. Yeah. And I'm with a huge agency at the time, you know, a talent agency and we call it, I say, I can't do this show. You know, I don't think these people mean anything by it, but I believe, you know, there is a, another side of yeah. this, and, and I don't want to tell, you know, if we do this show well, which we will, we'll make it attractive, and there will be 13-year-old boys out there who will say, oh, this is cool, and then somebody right. will tell them, you can really do this, you know, yeah. and suddenly we'll have kids off in the occult, and I couldn't do it. So I, had, we, I said, I can't do it. i got to turn it down. And at the time, I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't have anything else. Yeah. So I went home and told my wife, and... Uh, sort of hoping she would find the loophole, right? <laughs> so I said to her, I can't do this show, can I? Like, <laughs> maybe she'd come up with the, yeah. the rationalization. And she said, no, you can't. And, uh, and if we have to sell the house, we will. And, you know, I mean, it was huge. And that's what kind of was in our thing. Yeah. Three days later, I had six job offers. And wow. I was never out of work for 20, almost 20 years wow. until I decided I didn't want to work. Wow. You know, that I wanted to take a break. I mean, it was unbelievable. And, and again, I didn't do it. I didn't say, oh, if I turn this job down, God will right. give me all this other stuff. But I think often God sort of puts things out there for us and lets us make a choice. And in that choice, you know, clearly we were just blessed beyond yeah. uh, beyond anything. I mean, it was unbelievable what option, what I did after that. Yeah, that is a great story. Yeah, and I actually have about a half a dozen more, yeah. so I'll come back. And <laughs> I mean, it's really incredible, yeah. sort of. And I tell my kids this all the time, you know, you don't know what God has in store. In fact, there's a great line in our movie, in Coffee okay. Shop, that's yeah. a great segue, <laughs> is, you know, from Philippians, and it's, it's essentially, you know, no one has ever known, no one can ever see what God has in store for you is yeah. the paraphrase. And that I believe that, and that's what I tell my kids all the time. You know, you just, you, you live each day, and, uh, 
and if your focus is on the right thing, uh, you'll be sort of amazed and, and shocked at what can happen. For sure. Now, where can people find Coffee Shop? Coffee Shop will air on Up Network okay. uh, Sunday, September 14th. Okay. It premieres. It's on several times that night. Um, if you don't know Up, if people don't know the network Up, it's a great network. You'll love it. They really they want the kind of stories we have. Mm -hmm. It's really good entertainment. That's first and foremost. You know, we have to make entertainment, but it's got a message underneath it, and it's got dimension. And and like I said before, Christian women just love the movie. Christian men cry too. I see them <laughs> kind of trying to take their glasses off and you know do this kind of when no one see it. <laughs> Um, but and from a positive point, they don't mm -hmm. cry because it's sad. It's from a positive place, um, and Up loves that kind of programming. It's yeah. you know it's uplifting, inspiring. Uh, they're very welcoming, and they w love Christian content, Christian value content. Yeah. And so, if you don't know Up, find it. It's on most people's systems, and uh, so we premiere September fourteenth. So uh, I'm sure that you know whoever tunes in will have a good time. For watching to find out more about entertainment news that follows your values follow us on twitter subscribe to us on youtube and like us on facebook so you can know before you go